Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Max Gunson. I'm a student from UP Diliman from the College of Business Administration. So first of all, I hope you're safe. And dami nangyayari ngayon. And for this video, I'll be telling you my honest thoughts about BAA or the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and Accountancy degree program of UP Diliman. This might seem like na trash talk ko yung BAA kasi wala na ako doon. Pero more of this is more of the reasons why I left and reflections after leaving. So this is in no way apatama to my co-students sa BAA or org mates from JPA since mga BAA students din naman nasa JPA. Pero this is more of a criticism of let's say culture na ini-impose and pinopropagate ang accountancy degree programs here in the Philippines not only in UP. So first of all, let's talk about accountancy. So ang accountancy, lagi na lang sinasabi na it's a good course, it's a good pre-law, it's a good degree program and maybe it is for some people and maybe it's not for other people. Ako honestly, I don't like it kasi it's too constricting, it's too limiting. Pero that's just for me personally. I respect the profession the same way I respect other professions such as physicians or engineers or artists or graphic designers. It's just not for me. I don't find it fun. I don't get the hype basically. Ayun lang. Pero if you are one of the people who get the hype, good for you and good for accounting I guess. Pero ayun, I just don't get the hype. Unang-una, starting salary, it's not as high as people think. It's not as glamorous. Yung work, hindi kasing glamorous ng kagaya ng sinasabi ng public or sa public perception, hindi siya kasing glamorous. Base lang to sa mga nadilinig ko ah. Like, don't take this as fact. Like, this is just my opinion. And this is just from a perspective of a former accounting student. Tapos, will take you years of studying, memorizing, and understanding standards, application, mga ganyan. There's just too much effort, not that much payback. Aminin man natin or hindi, medyo saturated na yung accounting market here in the Philippines. Kasi nga, lagi nang sinasabi na laging kailangan na accountant, so laging may mga bagong accountants. Pero ang nangyayari, may mga times na these new accountants are forced to work for low wages para lang maka-earn ng maka-earn ng experience, 2-year experience, 3-year experience para tumaas yung sahod nila. So, from sabi natin 15K, mas magiging 6-digit, mas madali daw umakit ng corporate ladder kung accounting degree holder ka. At lalong lalo na kung licensed accountant ka. That's where the problem starts. Kasi schools are so obsessed with their passing rate, with their statistics, with their reputation as accountancy schools. So we have DLSU, UST, UP, and other big accounting schools na talagang they try their best na ma-maintain yung reputation nila as the best accounting schools in the Philippines. So how do they maintain this? Meron silang mga qualifying exams. I don't think na yung mga top universities lang yung merong qualifying exams. I think almost all accounting schools merong qualifying exams. Sa UP, walang qualifying exams pero may maintaining grade. So, nagsisilbing qualifying exams yung mga quizzes mo, yung mga exams mo, yung mga finals mo. So, what do I think of qualifying exams? Nabasa ko lang to sa Twitter kay Atty. Manuel CPA yata yung nagsabi na okay lang naman pero there should be a mechanism para makapag-cry again yung students or mabawi nila kung ano man yung hindi pa nila natututuan. And I honestly agree. Alam ko na not all people are meant for accounting or accounting is not meant for all people. Na meron talaga mas ibang mas magaling sa accounting and may ibang mas magaling sa ibang bagay. And maybe this disqualifying exams or etong maintaining grade or retention policies ng kung kung anong retention policy pa yan ng iba't ibang school maybe it's a way for students to realize na they're not really cut for the job or they're not really for accounting but that doesn't mean na we should stop students na siguro nahirapan lang for one sem nahirapan lang sa isang exam kaya bumagsak sila or hindi sila gaanong natuto kasi that only shows na these schools are valuing their reputation or their statistics, their passing rate more than their students or more than their students learning, more than the education. It becomes a race to be the best accounting school, to have the best accounting students, but never the race to be the best institution for learning accountancy. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung retention policy sa ibang schools, but for what I know, sa UP may 
maintaining grade at sa DLSU naman may exams. I'm not sure. Please don't this please don't take this as fact. Pero ayun, I think na dapat ang galin or at least baguhin yung retention policies ng mga school. Kasi some students talaga, they really want accountancy. And I think for accountancy, what you really need is passion and grit. Kasi it's not an easy course. It's not an easy degree program. At ako, honestly, pinakaya ko naman yung accounting. Like, pumapasa ako sa mga exams ko. Open naman yung mga grades ko. And if I, if I didn't quit, I think na I, I can stay. Like, mapapasa ko yung retention policy. I just didn't have the passion for it. That's why I left. So, some students, they have they have the passion for it. They have the heart for it. Pero, siguro, slow learners or nahirapan because may other factors. And, unfortunately, the retention policies don't favor them. Kasi, the, the, the retention policy favors those who get high grades na kahit, kahit di naman talaga nila gusto yung ginagawa or kahit minimema lang nila pero pumapasa sila, hindi sila kasing passion tas others. Kasi nga, mas mataas yung grades nila. So, I honestly don't agree with retention policies. So, baka makita to ng admin namin or hindi <laughs> ko alam. Baka may makakita nitong mga schools. Pero ayun, these are just my thoughts and opinions na a retention policy or a qualifying exam or a maintaining grade should not dictate your career as an accountant. And this is something na we should change here in the Philippines na porket hindi ka pumasa on a certain exam or porket di mo naabot yung certain grade <laughs> ay tatanggalin ka na sa course mo or hindi ka na pwedeng mag-accounting. Hindi ko alam kung ganito ba yung sistema sa other countries. I hope not. Madaming mga gustong mag-accountant na hindi na-achieve yung mga pangarap nila dahil lang sa qualifying exam. Besides this, ang comment- ang sa pang-commentaryo ko sa mga accounting schools ay ay nga, masyado siyang restricting. Ako nung may majors pa ako na accounting, wala na ako ibang ginawa kundi accountancy, accounting, gumawa ng, gumawa ng worksheets, gumawa ng prob sets, gumawa ng mga exercises, magbasa ng standards. And I, I honestly don't like that for me. Hindi ko alam sa iba, baka mas gusto nila na ganun yung line of work na ginagawa nila. Pero as a creative and as someone chaotic, someone na gusto nung laging iba-iba yung ginagawa, I can't have that. Mababaliw talaga ako. So, if that's what you want, edi good for you, pero that's just really not what I want. Ako, umalis ako kasi my peers are my batchmate. So, yung mga BAA students din na so for more. No hate to them, pero parang yung pinag-uusapan na lang namin palagi ay accounting. And we can't have room for creativity, we can't have room for innovation, or we can't have room for talking about other stuff. We always talk about accounting. And I just don't like that. I just don't like that culture. I wanna be creative, I wanna create other things, I wanna talk to people about deep things. Pasok, boy, pa deep. But I just don't like na nare-restrict ako sa isang skill na accounting lang. So don't get me wrong, ha? accounting is a good skill and it's very valuable to society. Pero ayun, I wanna diversify my skills. I wanna be creative nga, kaya na sinabi ko, I wanna, I wanna do good in marketing, in HR, in finance, and other aspects of businesses, and not just accounting. Siguro, if you want a highly specialized job, highly specialized skill set, ayun, go for accountancy. Pero ayun, if you're like me, who wants to diversify and to do other things, go to, go somewhere else. Go to something flexible, something versatile. So ayun, I don't like that culture na puro accounting na lang yung pinag-uusapan. I don't wanna get stuck on an office work, on an office desk, tapos puro accounting lang yung ginagawa. I don't know how accountants work like in real life, in the corporate world, pero that's just how I imagine it. If that's what you want, and if you can endure that, edi go for accountancy. It's just not for me. So in the end, I think it all boils down to Filipinos' obsession with titles. Kasi that CPA, that three letters after their name, honestly, very, let's just say, attractive. Kasi ako, gusto ko din dati na magkaroon ng CPA sa pangalan ko. And hindi ko naman talaga gustong magiging accountant. I just want those three letters. And that's part of the problem. Kasi we want a culture, we, uh, we live in a culture na titles are very much respected, are very much appreciated. They are put at a pedestal. So, kung attorney ka, doctor, engineer, CPA. So, yung mga titles na yan, Asia Songbird. You get what I mean? Wala kang maisip na mga titles ngayon, ironically. And Miss Universe. We are very much obsessed with titles. Kasi, we, all, we always want validation. And we want it attached to our names. So, because of that culture, overlook na yung mga real things na kailangan nating i-address. Yung mga dapat nating i-prioritize. Katulad ng 
making creating or honing accountants na socially aware and hindi corrupt and may mga principles honestly sa BAA unti lang yung mga soxai subjects so we need these soxai subjects or yung subjects to keep us grounded so ayun because of this obsession with titles and ayun nga we see accounting as a good job opportunity nawawala yung value natin yung pagbabalyo natin sa learning and yung pagbabalyo natin sa pagiging may integrity na accountant accountants or accounting student so that's it for this video sana please don't take it the wrong way pero that's just how I see it na we are too obsessed with titles and we are too obsessed with statistics with reputation that we overlook the real things such as students actually learning accounting and enjoying it and having fun with it. So that's it. Bye!